The two Gypsy Land started in London and we're talking about city gypsies, but we're also talking about stereotypes and myth busting. Um, but it's not a touring show as in I've made the work in London and it's going to be coming to Tramway. It's the actual venues and the places where the venues are that are leading the work. So for Glasgow, I've been here making films, taking photographs. Um, I'm also working with some other people actually from Scotland. And the idea of Two Gypsy Land is, is it's getting the different voices to speak because obviously as a community we're very diverse but people seem to see us as like one lump of people which we're actually not. Um, I'm from an English Romani background and that's how I live. For example my parents have got a piece of land now that they live on and they've had continuous fighting battles with the council um, since they've had the land which is from the 1970s actually. The prejudices that my community suffer has affected me directly in a number of different ways. Um, a, from when I first started school. Um, I started school in 1970 and obviously a lot of young girls have their ears pierced now but at that time it was a dead marker of who I was. And so as soon as I started school the problems really started and it wasn't just from the other children, it was a lot to do with adults. Um, so I was quite aware of it, I think, from a very, very early age of how people behave to anyone who's perceived to be different. So a lot of my work deals with this issue of difference and being the outsider. What I'm trying to do is give people a slightly different perspective on things, because obviously there's been a lot of things on television like My Big Fat Gypsy Wedding, but it's a very sort of one-sided perspective. And so the idea of the two gypsy land in particular is to give people some other information and other ways of seeing. And art seems to be quite a good platform for doing this. There's quite a lot of positive elements within my community, actually, but I think that they're not really things that people tend to focus on that much. There is a sense of community, so everyone's taken care of. Most people wouldn't know how many carers there are, for example, within my community looking after lots of elderly relatives or people that have lots of different illnesses and also thinking about low impact living for example which is something that lots of people talk about but actually if you're only in a small space you don't have a great deal of possessions you're living within your means for example you you know you've only got to pick your gas bottle up to know how much gas you've got to last you for the next week and if you haven't got a lot of money then Equally, you're going to be a bit economical with it. Recycling, for example, which is something my community has always done. It's not something that we're doing because it's fashionable or it's trendy or anything else. And as a community, we've survived for centuries having to live like this. So there's got to be something to that, I think. It's trying to start a dialogue, a different type of dialogue to the one that's gone on previously, really. It's very important to have this discussion at this time because with the rise of the right within Europe, there are really hideous, horrendous things going on. And actually, if, you, if it's not addressed, what becomes about those people over there gradually becomes about everybody. And anyone who's different ends up becoming on the receiving end. Hopefully when people come along to the exhibition, they see things also that they recognise within the work. So that's one of the things I like to sort of have keys in the work for people to be able to open the door with, I suppose, in a way. So that's why I like to do a lot of work on location because then immediately people might recognise something. Sometimes it's written content as well with the work because I th and we have films and also sometimes audio because I think it gives people different ways of entering art. So the work's quite multifaceted in that way but I think it enables people to find different ways into it rather than it just being one way because I think that art should be inclusive and as it says on the declarations of human rights, everyone's entitled to a cultural life.